，立法會主席。早晨 ，Good morning. We'll now work on motions without legal binding effect. Mr. Paul Chia's motion on examining the amendment of protection of harbor ordinance and implementing the and Mr. Frankie Yik will also put his amendment. So we will be debating the amended motion and motion. We'll ask Mr. Paul Chia and. We'll have Mr. Frankie Yik speak, but at the current stage, they cannot put forth the amended motion. So those who wish to speak, please press the speech button. We'll now invite Mr. Paul Chair to move the motion. Mr. Paul Chair. Chairman, the motion, it seems outdated because I recall in 2019, it was put forward and of course, our operations for a long period had been hijacked, postponed, so the motions have been delayed. But there was a benefit, Chairman, because it, what seemed outdated, but when we revisit it, the timing turns out to be appropriate because we are now talking about reform and we have an election committee reform so aside from stopping people who want to, to secede the country and their ulterior motives might be to amend the logical relationship with the government, we can have a more effective government. One of the major goals is to handle land supply, housing supply. So, Chairman, we see recently Mr. Han Zheng on the 6th of March or the 7th of March in the NPC, he touched on the idea that housing has not, not been able to be, the housing problem has not been resolved and there's no solution, but we now are at an opportune moment. This is the moment we can enhance Exco legco relationship, and we should disallow we should stop industries or organizations who impede our development and they impede us from resolving this housing problem. So chairman, my motion, well, I want to provide a fast, efficient method where the government can come up with short-term solutions to the housing issue. Why do we need reclamation in Typhoon Shelter? Now, I'm from the Kowloon East constituency, and I'm concerned about the traffic infrastructure in Kowloon East. We have a new CBD. We have a port that has been not fully utilized, and we also have many landmarks that are not fully utilized because of the traffic bottleneck. The cruise terminal is only some 100 meters away from Kuntong, but it's it is almost like an isolated island. It doesn't have synergies. We know that in Guntong, the traffic is abysmal, and Route 6, T2 section, because of PHO limitations, the design has been delayed 20 years. Well, there are big problems for this to occur. Now I mentioned that the cruise terminal is uh, it's as if it were re remotely isolated in a Siberian uh, and we also heard from Mrs. Regina Yip 
highlighting the problems of cruise terminal. So that's why I say this is the right moment. What are the benefits of reclaiming the land in the Kuntong Typhoon Shelter? Now, if you have played with jigsaw puzzles, you will see or you will notice that the Typhoon Shelter looks like the missing piece of the jigsaw puzzle. There is one piece that is missing and we now need to deal with this missing piece. There are some benefits to land reclamation. First of all, we can resolve the traffic congestion. So by reclaiming land there, the whole Kuntong, Kowloon Bay cruise terminal area, we can have traffic flow and it will totally change the landscape. And I said that it is 100 meters away from the promenade. The public cannot utilize that promenade area fully, especially towards the cruise terminal. Now, if we can build bridges or roads or even a simple bicycle path or pedestrian path, it can energize the area. And third, the new land can provide space for infrastructure. We talked about the environmental link system. It's because, why isn't it in place? It's because we don't have sufficient land. If you look at the, the central Wan Chai bypass, where the traffic has been dramatically improved, this is ex the exact same thing we want to replicate in Kowloon East. So aside from traffic infrastructure, we need short, medium term land supply. Chairman, we had done a land study and came up with a successful design option. So if, you, we, if we can reclaim the land in the Typhoon Shelter, it would be a large open space. It's close to the city center. There is existing traffic infrastructure and we can use some green methods. It is much more efficient and fast than Langtao tomorrow. So this is a very fast and effective method. So In the short term, it can provide 85 hectares of urban land and it can provide more than 3.6 million feet and 70,000 housing units. We're not just relying on the long-term vision, it's a short-term uh, outcome. So uh, we can have results in three, five years and typically the queue for public housing is six or seven years. So if we don't undertake this land supply measure, we don't want to see the central government interfere again, uh, where they force Hong Kong to conduct electoral reforms and so on. This is the work we should have been able to undertake ourselves. It is a very opportune moment. I understand that there are pros and cons to everything. Mr. Jie Wai Chun, on 2nd of July 2019, had conducted some analysis. There are just two points. It affects interest. The, there are a lot of, there's a lot of infrastructure in the urban cooling system there. It would affect the land sales. So whose interests are affected, we understand. And if there's an extra piece of land, it would affect land supply and people's line of sight uh, uh, would be affected. And 
Yeah, coming to the typhoon shelter itself, we don't want to affect fishermen, people who need to use the typhoon shelter. Put simply, how many occasions do people use the typhoon shelter? What is the typhoon shelter used for? If you notice, if you read the news, it's monopolized by criminal elements uh, for parking private yachts. So we need to understand, given our short land, uh, shortage of land supply, everybody will be affected by any solution. But we need to look at our overall advan uh, interest. Why do we need to amend the PHO? Uh, you would be familiar with the Protection of the Harbor Ordinance. It was endorsed uh, prior to 97. But if you recall, this ordinance is actually very simple. It says we need to protect the harbor and officials or anybody who want to reclaim land, they have to comply with this principle. But after the court of final appeal ruling, because CFA, their ruling, they had the overriding public interest consideration. And this public interest idea uh, included some tests. There had to be a present and compelling and urgent interest or there were other reasonable alternatives and then the reclamation could not be excessive there's no problem with that but what do they mean by overriding public interest the that stymied all government efforts. Uh, I, I mentioned T2 was affected, it was postponed for 20 years, and our one Chai bypass, the design, the arrangement and completion was delayed and made more expensive. Of course we understand the importance of conservation, but if it goes too extreme, there are negative consequences. We understand what freedom and democracy is, but if it's excessive, then we'll see what happened in the last couple of years. So now we're in a reset. So we want to see a new start, and we also should have new thinking uh, regarding conservation and development. Uh, but in the past, because of these constraints, my personal opinion, the PHO was out of balance. We need to review whether we need such a stringent ordinance. And we can examine it from two perspectives. Should we have an overriding public interest and convert it into a reasonable uh, requirement? And second, the harbor, Victoria Harbor. How large should the area be? Nobody would object that in the core area from Admiralty to Chimsaja and Wan Chai and so on, that area should not have any more reclamation. But beyond that, Chairman, if you look at the history Initially, only the central part was protected, and then by 1999, there was a motion to extend it to the whole Victoria Harbor, and it includes on the east, Siu Zhao Wan Jim, all the way and to the west, all the west to Green Island, Qingyi, and along Qingyi Island to the western part of Qingyi Island. So that was a very wide area. And if we were to adjust that back to the, the 1997 levels, the 
Hoya or the Victoria, Victoria Harbor, that would make things much more easy. So this motion seeks to uh, tackle this from that from this perspective. Uh, I will respond to Mr. Frankie Yick's amendment. That's also an obstacle, and uh, I understand that uh, participants here would uh, not support that because of that reason. But as I said in the beginning, this is a reset. We don't want the central government to have further actions regarding uh, land supply. So I hope that the different interests should reconsider if they have overemphasized their interests and affect Hong Kong public's interests. This would only lead to the central government interfering uh, once again. And I hope that you take note of that. Thank you. I now propose the question to you that Mr. Paul J's motion be passed. Mr. Frank Yick. President. Today, Mr. Paul J has moved this motion. It is in response to the Calhoun East plan submitted by an organization previously, suggesting that the Northeast Kaida approach channel, uh, channel on the former runway and also the Typhoon shelter to be reclaimed so that 70,000 housing units can be provided to alleviate the shortage of housing in Hong Kong. However, the Liberal Party supports reclamation to increase supply of housing units. We have insufficient land because um, Hong Kong is a very hilly area. Since the implementation of the PHO in 1997, during 1984 to year 2000, the rec reclaimed area was 3,000 hectares. Subsequently, it has plunged to 719 hectares in the following 10 years. According to the PHO, unless there is compelling and present need and there are no alternatives and also it causes minimal effects to the harbour, only then can the harbour be reclaimed. The Victoria Harbour is a very uh, special natural resource for Hong Kong and we should protect it. However, the PHO is very harsh. It is super restrictive. To tap into the cruise market, the government has invested $8.2 billion into building the Kai Dak Cruise Terminal. However, since the commissioning of the terminal in 2013, because of the remote location and lack of transport support, there was only one minibus route serving the terminal. Besides that, there are two bus routes which only go to the terminal during holidays and weekends. When there are ships calling ports, the terminal would arrange for taxis and transports to uh, take the passengers. However, there are thousands of passengers on cruises. It is very hard to transport them um, in a short period of time. With no ad adequate ancillary transport, the passengers um, cannot, cannot um, uh, go to um, other places, so um, the cruise terminal is like a ghost town. I have advised, advised the tourism board to set up a public pier near the cruise terminal to increase passenger flow. Actually, um, the pontoons would only take up very s small spaces on the uh, in on the waters, and it would not affect the harbour. In the end, my suggestion was not taken, up, taken on board because of the PHB. So the Liberal Party is supportive to amending the PHO appropriately. Minor reclamation would not jeopardise um, um, the 
Victoria Harbour, and the Victoria Harbour would not be notably um, narrowed after the reclamation, then we would support it. Before changing the use of the Typhoon Shelter, however, we think the government should provide another Typhoon Shelter with enough berthing spaces. During Typhoon, Typhoon, sh typhoon Shelters are very important to protect marine workers' life and properties. We cannot have a typhoon shelter um, just anywhere in Hong Kong because of the geographical um, constraints. The, the Kun Tong typhoon shelter is very popular because um, of its favorable geographical location. The occupancy rate is 80%. However, the government is trying Uh, to build um, the environmentally friendly linkage system for Kowloon East uh, as the entrance to the Typhoon Shelter and also uh, turn the harbour into a high quality um, uh, water recreate, uh, recreation zone. We support it, however, we should make sure that ships can have free access to the shelter during typhoons. And also, um, ships um, uh, of 40 to 50 meters in height cannot enter the um, Typhoon Shelter because of the um, viaducts. That's why I suggested moving the viaducts inward or, um, or uh, to, uh, to, um, to mitigate the effect on ships' entrance. However, the government said it was not feasible. and suggested um, linking the Typhoon Shelter um, with automated um, uh, people mover and other, um, other infrastructure. The Liberal Party urged the government to link up the Kun Tong Typhoon Shelter and also the um, Kaita Cruise Terminal with um, the urban area so as to increase um, economic activities and people flow. There are not enough sheltered birthing spaces in Typhoon Shelter. However, the government said um, the birthing spaces are enough for ships to birth. In the 14 Typhoon Shelters, uh, because of the because of lack of um, lack of maintenance as well as um, other factors, uh, the usage rate is very low. For example, uh, the Hailing Chow. A uh, typhoon shelter um, is too remote, so it takes uh, five to seven hours for marine workers to berth their vessels in Hailing Chow at uh, typhoon shelter. And also because of the um, of the um, hydrology of the area, uh, people are uh, reluctant to use it. And also um, for the Hailing Chow uh, shelter, um, uh, ships uh, with heights uh, higher than uh, thirty point four meters cannot enter the ha uh, the, ha the shelter. For Kun Tong, the height limit is fifty meters, so there's not enough parking uh, berthing spaces. Previously, only when there is typhoon would vessels are berth in typhoon shelter. However, like uh, Mr. Tony just said, the typhoon shelter has become a um, marina for private vessels to berth so that um, there are less and less berthing spaces for marine uh, workers. During a typhoon mine court, there were ships which were not able to enter the typhoon shelter and they were capsized. Because of climate change, the typhoon will only get more um, severe. We have to have enough berthing spaces in typhoon shelter to uh, protect ships during typhoons. When there are super typhoons and when ships cannot enter the typhoon shelter to uh, to seek shelter, it would uh, endanger the life of the marine workers. The marine department has set aside a, a private berthing area in the Hailing Chow typhoon shelter as well as 15 hectares um, area in the Kun Tong Typhoon Shelter for private vessels. However, uh, it is still not enough to meet uh, the private demand for uh, birthing spaces. The public housing application uh, number was um, increased uh, 
from uh, 1,415 to uh, some uh, uh, some um, 2,000. And the waiting year is about uh, two from two years uh, to 5.7 years. We don't have enough uh, public housing for people. The government has identified uh, 330 hectares of land to build um, 310,000 public housing units to satisfy the need in the coming 10 years. However, housing is the most important demand of the people. So the government has to identify more land to build housing. Because of this, the Liberal Party supports the government to adopt a multi pronged approach to increase land supply, including the Land Tao Tomorrow um, preliminary study to develop the Kuantong Typhoon Shelter. However, the government should first provide an alternative Typhoon Shelter to meet the need of birthing spaces of, of marine workers to protect their lives and properties. That's why I urge members to support my amen amendment. In general, the Liberal Party is supportive uh, of amending the PHO. Whether we should reclaim the typhoon shelter in Kuntong, it, uh, we don't have particular views. However, it is very important that the government has to provide an alternative typhoon shelter. Thank you, President. Secretary for Development. President, first I am grateful to Mr. Paul there for moving the motion this morning. Also, the amendment to be moved by Mr. Frankie Yick. The motion contains two suggestions. First, to explore the Kuntong Typhoon Shelter Reclamation Project as a means of increasing short-term land supply. And second, uh, to, uh, uh, to um, examine and appropriately amend the protection of the Hubble Ordinance. I must say, at our front, that we have no intention to carry out large-scale reclamation at KTTS. And at this stage, we do not have any intention to amend the uh, PHO. The Kuntong TS has an area of 33 hectares within the Kai Tak development area. At the uh, end of the last century, uh, the government announced that the airport would be moved to Chalapko and then uh, the area will be rezoned. In the um, reveal conducted in 2015, there was a suggestion to reclaim the whole of KTTS. However, uh, because there was strong objection to the extent of reclamation, in uh, 1999 to 2001, we carried out another comprehensive feasibility study of uh, the development of Kowloon South, and uh, the extent of reclamation was substantially scaled down. Instead of the whole of KTTS, uh, reclamation was only uh, confined to the northern part of the uh, KTTS. And then in 2004, there was uh, interpretation of the PHO by the Court of Final Appeals. So there was a full review of uh, the Kaitak development area in 2004 to 06. There was wide public consultation with a consensus for in society. The relevant assessment confirmed uh, the use of uh, the uh, original shoreline for further development of. Uh, Kaitak, uh, the infrastructure, the um, public uh, facilities were all planned according to this framework and are now being uh, progressively commissioned. KTTS is the second largest uh, typhoon shelter in Victoria Harbour. During typhoon attacks and uh, inclement weather, it provides shelter for 350 uh, odd vessels, so large vessels in particular, to safeguard the safety of lives and properties at sea. Even when the weather is fine, there are about 220 vessels of uh, various um, types berthed at KTTS. With the gradual development of KITAC, KTTS and also its shoreline of three hectares have, uh, three kilometers have been uh, zoned as a waterfront. In 2015, the uh, Kuntong Waterfront Promenade was commissioned and it was well received by the public. And uh, the whole area will be more diversified and more attractive. For instance, uh, there will be a trail for accommodating both pedestrians and also bikes. And then uh, the area also will be developed into a spot for water recreational facilities. 
And then uh, there was a study on a sharing of uh, water space in 27 and 2019. There were two stage public engagement exercises. And then with the Marine Department, we've also issued guidelines for co for sharing of Kuntong so that uh, daytime and nighttime there can be a shared use of um, the water there at uh, Kuntong. TS and then uh, we've also got um, when I've got two applications for short term use of uh, the site and that will improve the vibrancy of the area. As far as the protection of the harbor ordinance is concerned, it was uh, enacted in 1997. One major consideration back then uh, was to uh, respond to the eager demand for protecting the Victoria Harbour back then. Victoria Harbour is a natural resource and also a public property of uh, the city and therefore it should be protected. There is this presumption against reclamation of Victoria Harbour. And this is saying this is not saying that there should be no reclamation whatsoever. According to the um judgment of the Court of Final Appeal, uh, it was established that there must uh, be overriding public need for reclamation and there's no other alternative before reclamation can proceed. As far as uh, the scale is concerned, Court of Final Appeal stated that uh, the extent of reclamation should not exceed the very minimum required to satisfy the overriding public need and there must um, be good justifications to confirm that. Since the handing down of uh, the judgment, there's been a few rounds of reclamation at Victoria Harbour for overriding public need that include the um, um, f permanent reclamation for construction of uh, the Central Wan Chai Bypass and also a temporary reclamation for construction of the Sha Tin Central Link at Wan Chai. I think the next uh, small scale reclamation will be what we are planning to do uh, for uh, the boardwalk underneath Eastern Corridor, East, Eastern uh, East Island Corridor, and we will seek the funding from this council later this year. We need overall planning and take into account all considerations. For instance, that whether the work is um, in line with um, overall public need and whether it can comply with the PHO. As far as land supply is concerned, the government is pressing ahead. Uh, with various measures recommended by the task force on land supply, including development of uh, new development areas, uh, rezoning, and appropriate scale, scale of reclamation at Victoria Harbour, etc. By Mr. Posey, uh, we will do our utmost to ensure we have sufficient land supply for Hong Kong. As far as Kitech is concerned, the current uh, KITEC development scheme is the outcome of years of public discussion and consensus. We believe we should develop KITEC according to the agreed model. If at this stage we uh, drastically change the relevant planning, this will not increase supply in the short and medium term. Rather, it will be in the way of healthy development of the area. And this will also affect um, floor area for residential and uh, social uh, facilities plan to be delivered. I will listen to members' uh, speeches very carefully before I respond further. Thank you. Tony Chair, first of all, I have to thank Paul Chair for putting forward this motion such that our council has, opportunity, has an opportunity to discuss the PHO that was enacted since 1996, and uh, we are also able to examine the traffic issues. Now, back in the early 80s, when I was still working in the government, the government was conducting detailed study regarding relocating of the Kai Tak Airport and how to utilize the nearby land. But then, subsequently, we had a confidence crisis regarding the future outcome of Hong Kong. The government wanted to accelerate development to stimulate the economy to instill confidence. Plus, there were there was work. 
post Hanover and the and before 97 it uh, this planning was not forward looking enough and after 97 the SAR government had also considered the water body outside the runway uh, had been the natural environment had been polluted and uh, a lot of the natural elements had been negatively affected so the different land reclamation proposals were floated and there was an objective to create links with the nearby um, area so the residents were looking forward to a more spacious living environment, a more convenient public transport system. But in 2003, as the secretary pointed out, the central Wan Chai bypass uh, came under judicial review and the courts ruled according to the PHO. And there were only three conditions where rank, where reclamation could uh, be conducted. It had to be urgent, and uh, there had to be overriding interest, and there were no alternative options. And third, the impact would have to be kept to a minimum. So even though the government subsequently won in the appeal and was able to conduct the land reclamation in Central Wancha, but uh, the CFA did not. revise its previous ruling principles. So the whole Kaitak development area could only be conducted on its original site. So Chairman, after some 10 plus 20 years, is there room for revisiting the Kuntong Reclamation Project? First, we have to remove the constraints of the PHO. Those in favor of land reclamation say that the typhoon shelter does not have any ecological value and reclaiming it will not affect the water currents and in fact it can alleviate traffic problems. But for some people, regardless of how many economic benefits there are in land reclamation, they are worried whether it would create a precedence and they would still object and they might even um, conduct a judicial review. So even though reclamation is technically feasible, it might be too late. First of all, as I said previously, the Kaitak development area and the nearby land, we already have a lot of private public sector projects undergoing and some of them are even complete, uh, including the district cooling system and pedestrian connections. And we'll also have a lot of residential commercial buildings that have already uh, been occupied. And if we look into reclamation now, regardless of the scope, it might have a negative impact on completed projects. So for completed projects, they their line of sight might be blocked. So the Kaitak development that had already occurred for 20, 30 years, this might be postponed and procrastinated another 10 years. That would lead to economic loss. The affected residents, they might object. And in fact, they might even pose legal challenges. The Kuntong Typhoon Shelter provides berthing facilities for private yachts and other commercial fishing vessels. So it would be hard to find an alternative location. And these are Mr. Frankie Yick's amendments concerns. So even though I do have reservations about uh, the ty uh, reclamation, land reclamation, but I won't object to amendment of PHO. In fact, before the handover, there was a private member's bill that endorsed the PHO, and there was a there was insufficient discussion, and there were no reviews or amendments. For example, in the 
Wan Chai land reclamation case, the court stipulated three conditions. Is it applicable to all land reclamation? What makes it urgent and oh, uh, what is overriding public interest? So if we are trying to resolve land supply, housing supply shortages, is that urgent? And as secretary mentioned, the promenade along uh, for uh, being used for public enjoyment, but uh, these platforms they uh, encroach on the Victoria Harbor. So will they be subject to legal challenge, Chairman? As a member of the Harborfront Commission, of course I support protecting our harbor and promenade, but I also feel that any policy cannot be rigid. Uh, we need to balance the public's long-term needs, and that will conclude my speech. Mr. Chan Ginpo, the NPC endorsed a, a, a motion dealing with Hong Kong's electoral system, so our political woes have finally been resolved. But if we want to, we still have a long way off before uh, we can kickstart our economy and resolve long-standing issues. Now, housing is a definitely a long-standing problem. Now, Mr. Paul Chier had put forward this motion to study the amendment of the PHO to implement the Kuntong Typhoon Shelter Reclamation Works. In the past, uh, it was very... Uh, this arrived at an opportune moment. We can look at reclamation. We can also look at land supply. And we want to generate public concern or awareness uh, and in order to generate some consensus. Now, we're already at wit's end when it comes to housing supply in Hong Kong. So these livelihood measures have never been fully addressed. So we now need to reset Legco and tackle livelihood issues. I support Mr. Paul Chia's motion. I believe PHO uh, needs to exist, but it, it's not a set in stone. Now, the reclamation work uh, will be conducted within the runway area. Uh, it is not expensive, so it should not be barred. In fact, according to studies, the Kuntong Shaifun Shelter Reclamation can provide 85 hectares of land and can build, we can build 70,000 housing units. It's also very quick. It's not hard to dredge to drain the area, so there are benefit, the benefits outweigh the disadvantages. The extra land can be used to build public housing, HOS, it can help people on the queue. It can also help people, young people purchase their, um, their first property. It also caters to the needs of uh, fishing vessels. Uh, we, so we need to f locate a new location for commercial fishing vessels. I understand this plan has is difficult, but if we're dedicated, then we should tackle it head on and we should start work as soon as possible. To resolve housing shortage, we have to rely on Langtao tomorrow and prioritize our existing land use. Now previously the opposition felt that Lang Tao tomorrow would lead to excess land supply. Now even if we include the Kuntong rec land reclamation, we still need Lang Tao tomorrow because we want to maintain Hong Kong as a, a cosmopolitan hub. We need land for development and residential use, otherwise it would constrain our development. Uh, in, uh, t uh, previously, we had uh, a drop in property prices and that led to a postponement of development and that led to today's problems. So that shows us that we need sustainable and continuous land development. Then even if we do have an excess, we should be able to have people a more spacious living environment. Hong Kong housing is very small and uh, in fact a, lo a lot of people live in subdivided units, uh, whole families have to live in 100-200 square feet, that is unhealthy. 
Now, many years ago, Chairman and I suggested that uh, Hong Kong should make reference to Singapore, that is, we need to have public housing such that the majority of the population can rent or purchase public housing. Now, Hong Kong has its own conditions. We cannot copy uh, Singapore. We have to increase private supply as well. But increasing public housing supply can cater to young people. Now, even though the government didn't say that they would copy Singapore, but we have many measures. Uh, for example, 70% of land for used for public housing. Well, we continue to roll out HOS. So this indicates the government is moving in that direction. So I hope the government has sufficient land to support housing policy. And in the near future, Hong Kong should pr provide a stable environment and housing for its public. And Mr. Wilson Oh, thank you, President. First, let me thank Mr. Porte and Mr. Frankie Yick for moving uh, the motion and the amendment respectively. Now, if we look at the original motion, it contains two parts. First, examine and appropriately amend the protection of the harbor ordinance and to explore the um, Kai Kun Tong Typhoon Shelter Reclamation Project because um, there is a, there's a uh, conjunction end. The two must be read together. But I think uh, he's talking about um, amending the PHO so as to reclaim the KT so that we can have land and also to address uh, the improper transport planning in the cruise terminal. Well, the PHO uh, was uh, passed in the form of a private member bill in a rush, in a rush before the handover. There was not sufficient deliberations. So, uh, uh, after 20 years of implementation, I believe it is time to review and amend it. The DBA has always been asking for waterfront promenades to be established on two sides of the harbor so that uh, we can get close to our harbor. But uh, as we all know, uh, in the construction of um, the um, northern part of the island eastern corridor where well, there were a lot of uh, procrastinations because uh, the PHO was uh, too restrictive. Yes, the boardwalk is now finally uh, being constructed, but there is no guarantee that whether it has breached the PHO. So JB do, does agree that uh, the um, PHO can be reviewed and the uh, restrictions on works uh, should be more clearly spelled out so that works departments have more have something uh, more concrete to uh, follow now the PHO was enacted in 1997 in fact uh, the area doesn't cover KTTS because the 1997 version of PHO uh, only cover the area from the western harbor crossing to the Hongham harbor a uh, Hongham uh, Tunnel. Now, in 1999, the uh, PHO was amended. And what was, is that about? The uh, central um, harbors has been extended to the definition of harbor in the interpretation and general clause ordinance. And therefore, uh, to the east has been extended to Lei Yumun and also uh, the waters on the two sides of Kai Tak Runway was included. Uh, the amended ordinance had the support of uh, members in the council across uh, different uh, across uh, the political spectrum and there was no bills committee set up and then uh, at its third reading uh, it was passed without a division so uh, the victoria harbor is an important resource of hong of hong kong and it should be protected so all works within the harbor can only be done passing the overriding uh, public interest test. Of course, DAB supported the uh, amended ordinance, and so the ordinance uh, should apply to um, the Victoria Harbor. By the same token, we do not agree to the uh, motion here for reclamation of KTTS. And we doubt whether uh, reclamation here can really provide 
short-term land supply. Members said it would be a quick win solution, but then I think uh, we have a big problem with uh, TNT traffic and transport in Kuntang. First, uh, the site is within Victoria Harbour. Even if we are to amend the PHO, it cannot be done overnight. Secondly, the site here is controversial. Controversial. As a result, we will have a protracted argument. That doesn't mean that land can be released very soon. And uh, it is reclamation near shore. This will affect land already granted and uh, also existing occupants. Now, as we all know, the uh, tra traffic capacity and facilities are already saturated with a higher population than uh, the whole of uh, Kowloon East uh, will really burst the seams. So if we want reclamation, we must uh, have an alternative, and as a result, uh, it is not going to be done quickly. The cruise terminal involves a number of factors. Uh, there is also improper transport planning. By that I mean a lack of connection with uh, the other parts of Kuntong and also um, a lack of synchronization uh, between the uh, cruise terminal and commission commissioning of the cruise terminal and also transport facilities. So we should focus on the operation and positioning of uh, the cruise terminal first. I think that will benefit is development, and it's got nothing to do with uh, land supply. Reclamation is not going to help. Now, if we are to improve connectivity between the tip of the runway with Kuntong, there is no need for reclamation. We can use a monorail or use a bridge to link up the two, so there are alternatives. And I don't think we can pass the overriding public interest test here. We must um, be more cautious in dealing with reclamation to address uh, land supply. I think there is the question of flour and uh, bread. There are a dozen or so recommendations by the task force that have yet to be fully implemented. We should enhance uh, administrative efficiency uh, uh, and uh, make it faster uh, for procedures uh, to go through, and that is a better solution. I think uh, there is general consensus in the community that there should be no reclamation at KTTS, and that's the position of DAB as a direct elected member of Kunto, I can say that the community is against the reclamation there. And therefore, uh, we do not support the original motion, and we have reservation for the amendment as well. Dr. Priscilla Lau. At long last, finally, we got the opportunity to discuss uh, meaningful livelihood issues. Uh, there is also the resolution by NPC on amendment to our election-related legislation. I uh, believe uh, the intention is uh, to uh, remove uh, destructive uh, forces in this council and other uh, objective is to enhance the um, quality of governance here. And we should look at things as a whole. We should look at the overall uh, interest of Hong Kong. We should even uh, look at what is good for the development of country in discussing issues here. On livelihood issues, I have moved eight motions in this council, seven of which had the uh, support in principle of the opposition camp and they were passed unanimously. Now, I have um, moved motions in relation to law and uh, to um, urban renewal and water quality and uh, urban planning, etc. These are very close to my heart. Now, uh, regarding Mr. Porter's motion, and whether the PHO should be examined and review, consider. In fact, Kowloon East and Kowloon Two are brothers. When we talked about um, energizing uh, Kowloon West, uh, I uh, was of the view that we could not leave behind Kai Tech. We all wanted to have a continuous waterfront. 
Wan Chai uh, subsequently had a similar uh, idea and uh, the um, implementation of uh, continuous waterfront was even uh, done sooner than Taiwanese. So I uh, am pleased to see that. Now, Kaitech is the crust of uh, this motion. How should we tackle this issue? Now, if we may. Take a look at the mainland. Do you know that uh, the mainland is nicknamed infrastructure monster uh, because uh, the speed they proceed with uh, infrastructure has been incredible to the eyes of the Westerners. Improvement of uh, the rural areas to lift people out of poverty, bridges, uh, railways. I visited various uh, Poor villages in the mainland, I think they have done an excellent job in compensation. When I mentioned planning of Kowloon West, I mentioned that uh, Yaomate Reclamation should be relocated and we should have uh, somewhere like uh, a hub typhoon shelter area, like the Taipo uh, industrial area. Now, uh, in West Kowloon, uh, because of the shipyard, uh, uh, the water quality is very poor. Now, I uh, knew that as soon as Typhoon shelters uh, were mentioned, the uh, motion would be opposed because uh, the motion would touch the in touch on the interests of uh, the operators there at Kowloon, at uh, Typhoon Shelters. Now I don't think uh, this is something we um, cannot touch. It all depends on whether there can be good compensation proposals from the administration in the mainland. Now uh, for uh, the uh, rural areas, uh, they can be uh, allocated new houses. They can have a share in uh, the um, interests of land development, so and so forth. So we have uh, to think out of the box. We now. I have served uh, on the Kowloon District Council for three terms. I'm also a directly uh, elected member from uh, Kowloon West. I can understand the grievances of people there. The Kaita Cruise Terminal is so deserted. So for 10 years, uh, the operator has been operating the terminal as if it were a facility overseas where they have um, more than enough supply of land. Here in this place, uh, the passengers have to walk a long way before they can board a taxi. And so the um, whole plan is a failure. Even without the pandemic, their business there cannot be viable. We have such a big place for a cruise terminal. I know that the franchise would end in 2012, I think it would be best if the government can um, recover it and manage it itself. Now, if you ask the civil service, they will always say that this cannot be done. It's too difficult. I hope they can change uh, this mentality. Uh, my opinion is the picture sometimes uh, would be in the way of our planning. The Ting, uh, the Ting Chow, um, the Green Island uh, cement factory, for instance, cannot be uh, relocated. Now I have encountered uh, much of strong reaction when it comes to uh, the waterfront. I have seen. Uh, people coming out to protest, uh, not just from the opposition camp, but from the pro-establishment camp as well. So uh, I will abstain when it comes to a motion or reclamation. But I think we should really review the um, PHO just for the sake of improving the environment. Mr. Yu Siwei, President. I'm grateful for Mr. Porger's motion. 
he has raised a question in 2019 asking whether the government has planned to reclaim the Quintong Typhoon Shelter. The then Secretary said there was no plan for that. One reason was that the government was studying the feasibility of building a monorail in Kowloon East to address the trans traffic issue. However, in the previous policy address, the Kaidak monorail project, which has been in planning for 10 years, was infeasible. That's why the project um, would not proceed. There are lots of commercial and residential projects in Kaidak, including the Kaidak Sports Park. A lot of people will be brought into the area. When the park when these projects are fully commissioned, the original transport system will not have enough capacity. That's why I agree to study the feasibility of reclaiming the Kunton Typhoon Shelter, provided that an alternative Typhoon Shelter can be provided. The transport facility near uh, around the Kaida Cruise Terminal is very problematic. Whenever there are two cruises calling port, there would be a large number of passengers um, onboarding and causing disruption to the transport system. The terminal cost um, tens of billions of dollars to build. It is a very beautiful site. Besides, um, as a, besides uh, serving as a terminal, it is also a very premium uh, commercial and um, leisure site. However, the transport facility is very bad. That's why the occupancy rate is very low as well. The intended economic benefits was not achieved. To rectify the situation, we can only start with improving the transport support in order to in order for the cruise terminal to achieve to realize its full potential and address the transport issue nearby the motion raised by moved by mr Porcher is a very good idea if the typhoon shelter is reclaimed kaidak terminal can be linked up with the quintong area and vehicles will not have to bypass to go to quintong it is beneficial for the long-term development for the Kaida Cruise Terminal. President, reclamation will cause a lot of controversy. It may take as many as 10 years' time before it is realized. That's why before rec besides reclamation, I also recommend the government to consider short, medium and long-term measures to address the lack of transport for the cruise terminal. For short-term measure, I suggest providing a temporary pier uh, near the entrance to the approach channel. Pre previously, there was a public pier near the fire station. Now it has become the Kaidak public pier. However, to use this pier, the vessels have to go deep into the Typhoon Shelter, and it is time-consuming. And also, um, there is a ferry line um, running um, near the area. However, um, the port calling at uh, the the pier is too far away. That's why passengers um, refuse um, for the routes to be changed. The location of the Kaida Cruise termi Terminal is so remote. That's why. Um, there are not a lot of business. Even when the tourism sector is revived, we don't see a lot of people using the terminal as well. If we set up a temporary public pier near the approach, ch approach channel, we can satisfy the needs for different um, visitors. For example, visitors from the mainland and also passengers arriving at the pier from the North Point um, Pier as well as the uh, future water taxi passengers, as well as um, cruise terminal passengers. An organization providing services for cruise passengers has suggested to me that they may be they may provide um, local tours for passengers uh, on cruise calling ports in Hong Kong. 
if um, better transport is provided to the cruise terminal. President, the government cannot be complacent with the situation as it is. It should provide better support for the cruise terminal, for example, um, better communication and linkages with other areas to make it more competitive. The Tai Chi cruise terminal in Shenzhen port is a premium cruise terminal. It is a water hub. When it is commissioned, there were different routes and cruises calling ports from uh, Hong Kong, Macau, and other areas. The transport package is very good. That's why um, the, uh, the usage is very high. In designing the Kaita Cruise Terminal, the government did not um, focus on uh, cross-boundary transports. That's why the that's why there was a lot of um, dissatisfaction from us. The government should make good use of the resources and plan ahead in terms of transport support for the cruise terminal. Only that can we sustain the competitiveness of the terminal. President, I support the motion and the amendments. Mr. Michael Look, President, today we are discussing the motion debate, the motion on examining the amendment at, of the protection of the harbour ordinance and implementing the Kuntong Typhoon Shelter Reclamation Works moved by Mr. Paul Chair. Now, personally, I support the government using multi pronged approach to increase land supply, including reclamation. I was not very familiar with the town planning situation of Kowloon East. I thought um, it was a good idea because the Kowloon, shout, Kowloon Typhoon Shelter is, um, is um, can be reclaimed to provide more housing units. However, I have been to the neighborhood and I have listened to the people's views and I have a different uh, perspective now. President, I don't think we should only increase land supply. We should have a full and comprehensive planning, including um, transport, providing um, recreational um, sites, as well as uh, preserving our natural resources in order to build a livable city. In the past, Kowloon East was a community with um, industrial activities as well as residential um, uh, areas. That's why um, it lacks um, planning. It is a black spot for traffic jam. The citizens um, were always caught in traffic jam. And also, it affects um, as far as Kowloon City and Wong Dai Sin. The FTU has been very concerned about the usage of the former Kaidak Airport and also the um, the revitalization of the Kaidak Reef uh, project in 2004. We think we need very careful planning before reclamation. If we recklessly engage in reclamation, we would be neglecting the need of people in the Kowloon East. And it is, um, we have to think about how uh, we can make the best use of the Kun Tong Typhoon shelter. It is the second largest typhoon shelter in, in Clements, whether it, it will provide a berthing spaces for 350 vessels, the occupancy rate is very high. It is very important for marine workers and fishermen. And also, it is very hard to identify another place to provide another typhoon shelter. Besides berthing, it serves as a wind corridor to bring in fresh air into Kowloon City and uh, Wong Dai Sin. If we reclaim the 80 hectares of waters in the area, it will block the air travel into Wong Dai Sin and Kowloon East, creating a hit island effect. The, the population in the area is very high. In 2026, there will be 1.15 million people in there. And also, Kun Tong District Council is the district council with the most uh, pop, with the highest population, and also we are going to have the Anderson Quarry Bay housing project, which will also drive up the population. Before moving this motion, has Mr. Paul Chair considered whether 
the transport network in the area is able to support the reclamation project. I don't think citizens would like to live in a very crowded area. Even if this is a concrete jungle, we have to have an oasis. Reclamation should be aimed at providing a more a um, quality community for the people rather than um, than developing uh, intensively. Taiwan Shelter is very valuable. Now, the Lion Rock is the icon of the Kowloon East. When the reclamation project proceeds, there will be a lot of high-rise buildings blocking the view to the Lion Rock and also the runway. Now, already there is a community um, created along the promenade. There are lots of activities there. Now, the Kadak Airport has 96 years history. It is a landmark in the Kowloon East. Now, thirdly, in terms of history, we have Song, um, we have the Song Wong Toy and um, the the Song Dynasty Terex, as well um, as other um, important historical artifacts in the area. These are very important resources. We cannot just reclaim the area recklessly. And also, a lot of works has been done for the Kai Duck, um, Nola and so on. For example, um, the dry weather um, interceptor and so on. The water quality has been improved. It was not as bad as we thought it was previously. According to the Kai Duck Development Plan, the Typhoon Shelter will become a hub for water sports. We should make full use of the water body to encourage people to engage in water sports, for example, at dragon boats and um, boat, boat racing and so on, to increase the vibrancy of the community. And this is very important to develop um, water transport. Now, transport is very inconvenient for the cruise terminal, but we cannot, uh, cannot solve it by reclaiming the waters. Actually, the Transport is um, also inconvenient in Kowloon, uh, in Kowloon as well as uh, Hong Kong Island. Can we simply reclaim the entire Victoria Harbour? No, we have to provide uh, services like uh, water taxis and so on, and we have to proceed with the monorail project as well as um, a, cro a cross harbour um, bridge for bicycle so as to link up Ngao Tao Gok and Kai Duck. We are not objecting reclamation, but we think there should be a good planning. This is not an alternative plan uh, for Land Tao Tomorrow Vision. I think we can review uh, whether we should amend the PHO. However, we cannot reclaim uh, the Kuntong Typhoon Shelter. But in the end, Mr. Paul Chair said um, the Central People's Government's decision to improve uh, the electoral um, system in Hong Kong as a force in Hong Kong. It is, I do not agree with that. In the last couple of days, there has been an online discussion regarding Zhang Guan O uh, unmasking. It sounds uh, unrelated, but it is. That is, we live in Hong Kong, but are we familiar with our livelihood issues? So for example, in this motion uh, for, of amending the PHO and land reclamation, my introduction was about how did PHO arise? It, it's not as we thought simply about how to protect our ocean resources. No. PHO is about how we protect our inner harbor, Victoria Harbor. Just now, colleagues had mentioned some history, and allow me to summarize. In 1996 97, in the Ledge Co., it was very rare. Miss Lokongwe had 
proposed a private members bill and it was passed, we could not reclaim land in Victoria Harbor. So it wasn't just about protecting Victoria Harbor. In fact, in the legislative history, we might not see this repeat itself. It was a very rare private member bill. So why was it passed? Why do we see that it is constraining our development? There are different perspectives to that argument. So when that was endorsed, maybe it was influenced by the uh, Chinese government. Maybe it was promoted by people who wanted to protect the harbor. But during the British colonial rule, they used the cheapest way uh, and the most destructive way to reclaim land in Hong Kong. So that is how we came with uh, Hong Kong Island. That's how we arrived with the Kowloon Peninsula in the 1980s with Christine Look. Uh, they realized that that was not sustainable. That is Hong Kong. So regardless of your political inclination, whether you are pro-China or pro-UK, but when you live here, why is the typhoon shelter so polluted? Why is our shoreline disappearing? Why is Victoria Harbor disappearing? Not only is the shoreline disappearing, we've lost a harbor and we now have pollution. So I spent three minutes to talk about the history of PHO because in the 70s, 80s, Hong Kong people realized for the first time that uh, these issues were related to their livelihood. They wanted to protect public resources, that is our marine resources, our country parks, our air, and the system, we'll put that, set that aside, we'll set culture aside. What are we left to protect? that is our Victoria Harbor. So from that perspective, this pri private member bill, uh, I'm sorry, I cannot support it. There's not even room for discussion. Why? Because it is because how in the coming decades, how are we going to develop? I think you understand my pers my perspective now. So, if, so what do we mean by long term interests? So PHO looks at Hong Kong's development from a long term perspective. How we protect our valuable resources. This is one of those pieces of legislation. And Miss Christine Lowe put forward this as a private member bill. Now, I do not necessarily support that. That was a colonial rule outcome. You will recall that they wanted to have a desal desalination program. So there was a political struggle uh, behind that. So we're now left with the Kuntong Typhoon Shelter. What is it? A month or two ago, there were there was an accident. Uh, there was an incident regarding the birthing of private yachts. They were set on fire. So, why is it a contentious issue now? It's because of the policies, the Hong Kong government policies in the last couple of years. When we were talking about Langtao tomorrow, de uh, developing Discovery Bay. Three years ago, Disco Bay, there were middle class who purchased yachts as a residential uh, unit. Then Disco Bay said, no, we, you cannot stay, and they had to leave. So they relocated to the Taif Kuntong Typhoon Shelter. So you will ask, what other locations can we birth these yachts 
if you reclaim the land there, yes, we will have more space. I meant, I already referred to my political sense, but if you look at the development in Kuntong, the so-called energized colonies, how many commercial buildings are left vacant? We know that in the last development, last 10 years, how Kowloon East is now being divided by interest groups. Uh, the market turned south and it's left vacant. So if you want to improve Kuntong, as other members said, it's a, an improvement of the environment. It's not about the land creation. Mr. Ma Fung Gong. Mr. Ma Fung Gok, your phone is ringing. Ever since the colonial days, the harbor has been a symbol of Hong Kong. It is our valuable resource and we should cherish these resources. So preserving the harbor is Hong Kong people's consensus. The PHO is recognizing that fact. So we cannot uh, arbitrarily reclaim land. The legislative intention was not to rule out all land reclamation, it was just against excessive and unnecessary works. At the same time, uh, conservation and uh, land reclamation are not at odds with each other. I support uh, a development. So should we amend the PHO? Uh, should we look at the Kuntong Typhoon Shelter land reclamation to increase land supply and also improve the economic uh, eff efficacy of the cruise terminal? I note that the wording is very careful. They are saying that examining amendment because uh, there have been court rulings over this issue uh, in 2004 regarding the Wan Chai Central Bypass, the judicial review ruling mentioned some criteria that any land reclamation, it had to have overriding public interest and the overriding interest, it had to have urgent need and no other reasonable alternative. And the reclamation area had to be uh, at a minimum. Well, the issue now is that whether these protection measures were excessive. Now, some people have said that the legislation was passed as a private member's bill, and it did not undergo public consultation, and the government might not have not heard all sides of the argument. So after handover, the SAR government would not, did not foresee that this would be a grounds for appeal, and it would constrain all shoreline development. The Central Wash High Pass had been delayed again and again. The feasibility studies uh, were, done, were done and it took some 30 years uh, to uh, get our by, uh, Central Wash High Pass. A lot of projects were also fell by the wayside. So, and we had uh, zero reclamation projects for a very long period of time. Mr. Paul J. mentioned that the, the cruise terminal cannot um, be fully deployed because of a lack of infrastructure. And we even had temporary marine sports plans, but these were shelved because of their breach of the PHO. So if we look at the wording of the PHO and the courts, interpretation of the PHO and how uh, the impact on our urban development, it's a major constraining factor. So the government has not considered reclamation projects along the harbor and uh, we have ruled out many improvement works. So whether we should have a discussion on the amendment of PHO, this would be very controversial, but considering the urgent need of expanding urban landscape and a shortage of land supply. 
So when we talk about whether we should rezone the country parks and create artificial islands, under the existing legislation, we cannot explore land creation options. In a land use debate, it was estimated that the Guntong reclamation could provide some 85 hectares of space for residential use. Uh, there would be more than 3.6 million square meters of housing space created and more than 75,000 units being created. So for that would be a very valuable um, contribution. So when we consider public overriding public interest and urgent need, we also need to consider economic um, contributions. Uh, would, do, would these outweigh the loss to our marine uh, resources? It is cheap, it is not expensive, there is not a large impact on the water current, it's also near a developed business district, it has existing inf uh, traffic infra infrastructure. Uh, it, it would be a very feasible project and worthy of consideration. And of course, I do not support it uh, without conditions. We should have a pragmatic and rational approach. The Kuntong Typhoon Shelter Reclamation needs to resolve a practical problem. And that would be Mr. Frankie's major concern that uh, of uh, birthing space for vessels, especially during typhoons. We need to protect uh, commercial fishing vessels' property. Uh, there was a report regarding uh, mismanagement of vessels. Uh, we even had arson uh, of yachts. So we need to identify a new typhoon shelter. Otherwise, uh, there is no uh, possibility of uh, proceeding forward. So the government uh, finds it very difficult to conduct a uh, discussion because we don't have a, a reasonable alternative. So to a certain extent to show that there is no reasonable alternative, it's a t mission impossible. So whether we can amend the PHO and allow flexibility, I believe this controversial topic needs investigation. Chairman, that would conclude my speech. Mr. Stephen Ho. Thank you, President. Uh, the uh, motion debate is on examining the amendment of the PHO and implementing the KTTS reclamation works. Mr. Wilson all stated the position of our party very clearly because I think the two uh, in the motion should be uh, split and discussed separately. Uh, Mr. Tony C asked whether the pontoon would affect the PHO, etc. So I think it is uh, okay to amend the PHO, but if it is for the sake of um, reclaiming KTTS, then I uh, back to Deva. Because uh, Mr. Mr. Posey uh, only uh, gave a few justifications in his uh, short seven-minute speech. He said that, well, you, you don't uh, get to use the KTTS too often in a year. Uh, Mr. Michael Wong used to be the director of Marine, and I think we once discussed uh, the uh, KTTS. We criticized the government uh, uh, for the way it uh, worked out the um, demand for KTTS. Simply divide, divide the total area of typhoon shelters with the number of vessels. Well, we have um, uh, strong views about Hailing Chow because uh, there are plenty of uh, empty uh, moorings there. Now, this is because the government has not introduced the concept of a home port so that we can use our typhoon shelters. Uh, now, if I it, it takes me a few hours to get to a, a typhoon shelter to get my vessel, of course I won't use it. All right, we may have a dozen or so typhoon shelters, 
there aren't enough uh, births. You can ask uh, uh, people uh, with um, uh, driving license for both Hong Kong and the mainland. They would not want to park their car in uh, Shamjan. Now, now we are talk about KTTS. Well, we can allow categories of one, two, three vessels to a birth at KTTS. Of course, uh, such a pilot scheme is doomed to fail, even if it is a success. According to Porter's um, motion, well, uh, the um, telephone shelter should be reclaimed. Now, we don't have enough telephone shelters. Chung Chung Tai said that, uh, of course, um, uh, when things is in short supply, then uh, the unscrupulous elements may use it to extort money. Now, you can't say that because uh, they are tried elements, uh, you should remove uh, KTTS. Well, the first thing for you is to um, remove uh, Yao Chi Monk. So this logic is not the way to address the problem of triad control. All right, lack of uh, vessels uh, for fishermen. Uh, not many uh, fishermen use KTTS because it's not convenient. They rather go for uh, typhoon shelters outside the Yumun. Uh, we had the one Chai Hong Kong a central bypass, so the Causeway Bay Typhoon Shelter uh, was uh, closed for a few years. So people went to a uh, birth in Timun and even Tengi, Aberdeen. And then uh, after the bypass uh, was completed, Causeway Bay Typhoon Shelter was opened again. But then, uh, the uh, but now the Aberdeen Typhoon Shelter is full of uh, both uh, fishing vessels as well as pleasure vessels. So, among ordinary fishing vessels, uh, there can be a precious pleasure vessels that cost over $100 million. And uh, if uh, fishing vessels accidentally bumped into uh, such a vessel, um, scratched, is, uh, um, is held, and it may receive letters from lawyers asking for compensation. Now, the pilot scheme should not be done in uh, Kuntong. Instead, it should start in Aberdeen. It doesn't matter when we have uh, 90 Members in this council, I'll see whether the administration will listen to our advice. Now, according to Porte, in three years, uh, there will uh, be enough there. But when uh, we had the drink bay, the typhoon shelter, it was not called by such a name. Well, when we have uh, Mankook uh, and uh, also um, uh, had to, would you say that Tough shelters are not important. I think the government is progressing too slowly, unacceptably slow. I urge uh, the Secretary for Development to identify land. I know that there is a pressing demand for uh, housing, but you cannot just uh, keep your eyes closed and uh, build flats where you like. Do you think uh, these uh, three, 33 hectares can address this? Uh, uh, back then, uh, there was the suggestion to develop the golf course in the uh, northeastern part of NT, but the plan never materialized. Now, uh, fishermen are stakeholders here. I think the development is important. You may not be able to uh, do it as quick as you want. I don't exactly know what Paul J wants. Now, please don't hint at uh, those uh, stakeholders. I think um, private properties are sacred. No matter whether you are rich or poor, the law protects everyone's assets. All right, if you want the land, then you may say that we can compensate you for the loss and then we can recover the loss, but that will easily cause conflicts uh, among people and that would cause a conflict between the rich and the poor. 
and the traffic issues there can never be overcome. Now, it took uh, six years uh, for a roundabout in two moon to be built. So I don't believe uh, we can have land supply in the short term by reclaiming the typhoon shelter here. Mr. Lo Wai Kwok. Thank you, Chair. I, uh, President, I support, uh, I thank Mr. Potier for moving the motion so that uh, we can uh, discuss uh, amendment to PHO and um, reclamation of KTTS. We have a great demand for housing. And because of improper planning, the cruise terminal at Kaita cannot achieve its planned economic benefits. Now, if we uh, can reclaim KTTS, we can address the problems of a cruise terminal, and we can further improve the uh, traffic network here. So uh, the whole idea is worth considering. Uh, the PHO is not something new to us. In 2003, the Protection of the Harbour Society applied for judicial review to challenge the uh, reclamation for the uh, Central One Chai Pai Pass in uh, July the same year. The uh, court ruled that uh, the Tampering Board uh, was um, lost and then uh, there could not be any reclamation there. And uh, there must be pressing an immediate need for reclamation and where there is no other alternative. And then the uh, damage to the harbour must be minimised. All three tests will have to be satisfied before the presumption against ordinance can be um, overturned. And then in 2004, the CFA uh, handed down a ruling because of a town plan board uh, case. Now, it is said that the presumption against um, some uh, reclamation is to protect a harbour, but uh, that that presumption can be overturned. When there is overriding public interest, then uh, that will be the test to use to go against the presumption of reclamation, we have to prove that there is an overriding public interest need, and that is the need of the community and the economy. In 2019, on the 24th of February, the Central One Chai Bypass and the New Island uh, Eastern Corridor were commissioned, and that greatly improved the traffic jam in the area, so there are clear social benefits. However, the BHO is still a very uh, heavy constraint on infrastructure in Hong Kong. For instance, uh, in July 2004, the Tom Prime Board uh, review again uh, the possible proposal of reclamation. And then uh, there is also the exclusion of reclamation in the harbor. So we should consider the uh, social needs and amend the PHO, and we should consider the need for reclamation in a more pragmatic manner before we can consider KTTS reclamation and similar projects. While well, we want to improve land supply and housing, we have to strike a proper balance. As pointed out by Mr. Frankie Yick in his amendment, before implementing KTTS, there must first be an other typhoon shelter with sufficient birthing spaces to safeguard the lives and properties of marine workers. We must um, properly reprovision the facilities for the operators. In her policy address this year, in para 85 on housing and land supply, the CE said that land supply would come from a various government land confirmed to have a development potential. Through various channels, I've reflected the aspirations of uh, the engineering and works sector through the administration. It is important that we take care of the needs of uh, brownfield operators 
in particular, some of the heavy machinery and plants cannot be placed in uh, multi-story um, factories or storerooms. So we must safeguard the interests of the operators. Whether we want to reclaim typhoon shelters or reuse brownfield sites, they can never provide us with a large supply of land for housing. So on the 25th of May 2019, the uh, PWSC and also uh, the um, and then in uh, February 2020, uh, the um, FCE also approved consultancy study for reclamation at um, uh, Mead Waters. The engineering and work sector welcomes that because it will help us to address the severe shortage of land in the medium and long term. The study will focus on a reclamation of 1,000 hectares at Khao Yi Chow and about 150,000 and 260,000 flats can be provided, 70% of which will be uh, public housing and there will be uh, 200,000 jobs in this new core business area. This is better than uh, piecemeal housing developments in the urban area. Of course, uh, it would take a long time for that to materialize. Any measure that can relieve our housing shortage in the short term should be considered by the community with an open mind. With these remarks, I support Mr. Portier's motion and the amendment by Mr. Frankie Yick. Thank you. Dr. Junius Ho, President, I'm grateful for Mr. Portier who moves this motion. I speak in support of this motion. This motion is very clear. That is to urge the SAR government to examine. I highlight the word examine and appropriately amend the protection of the harbour ordinance so as to explore the Quintong Typhoon Shelter reclamation project as a means of increasing short-term land supply and resolving the failure of the cruise terminal to achieve its due economic benefits owing to improper transport planning. I also welcome the motion as amended by Mr. Frankie Yick. His amendments highlight the considerations in proceeding with the reclamation project. We cannot be rigid. We cannot afford that. The original intention of the PHO was well. Before the reunification, um, Ms. Lokong Wai moved this private member's bill. On the 27th of June 1997, the motion was passed. The intention was to protect the public assets as the Victoria Harbour. It is our shared um, past, a shared memory, and it is our pub it is in our public interest to protect it. I don't object to it. When we were about to um, demolish the Queen's Pier a group of people um, tied themselves together with the Queen's Pier with um, chains. We have seen that. However, we need to improve um, our living environment. Now, this motion only mentions uh, examine. The motion is essentially asking for the administration to take a broader view and take its executive role. Now, why should we be shackled by the law? Are we um, are we enjoying the feeling of being shackled? 
It is just an examination on the feasibility of it. It's just like um, the central people's government, uh, which applauded the high efficiency of the Legislative Council when it has returned to normal. We have um, passed a lot of bills in a short period of time. Now, the obstacles have been removed, but it doesn't mean that the Legislative Council is not serving its um, regulatory role. Today, we have members from the Kowloon East constituency to voice their views. I um, appreciate uh, Mr. Wilson Orr's view. He said that the DAB is opposed to this motion. I appreciate that. However, it is still a far way. It is still um, a long way to go um, before the reclamation will proceed. If we don't start examining the feasibility, it seems that we are um, confining the possibilities. We have already approved five um, fifty billion dollars for the governments to engage in a preliminary study of um, the KYC artificial island. So why can't we undertake a study concerning the reclamation of the Typhoon Shelter in Kuntong? It's just like the Chi the Central Wan Chai Bypass. It has been challenged by many. We engaged in a fierce debate about that. The project should be regarded as an exep exemption under the PHO. We were not talking about the merits of the project. We were talking about the procedural justice. We engaged in a fierce debate in the courtroom, and in the end, the court gave us the green light. That's why we have the Central Wan Chai Bypass now. Once you come out of the Western Harbour Crossing, you can go to, you can arrive at North Point within four minutes. Of course, this is beneficial for people's livelihood because um, the traffic is smooth. So why can't we examine the possibility of amending the PHO? Uh, legislations are always being amended, including the electoral legislation. Many people said that the basic law cannot be changed. It is happening. Um, schedule 1 and Schedule 2, it is going in full steam. Now the decision will be implemented. When the CPP, uh, when, this, when the CPPCC um, has issued the specific guidelines, we will follow it in full. We are not the rubber stamp. We will use our wisdom and think about the entire picture. So I welcome this motion. We should examine this possibility. We should think out of the box in order to serve the public. There is another thing. Historical value, for example, the golf course. It is a natural resource. However, the government still took it away and turned it into buildings. So why can't we examine reclaiming and enhancing the harbour? This is not right. Um, you allow people to destroy um, the greeneries, however, you are not allowing people to reclaim. I shall submit. Mr. Kwok Wai Kung, President. I'm grateful for uh, Mr. Paul Jie to share his view in terms of um, community planning and so on, and also um, it um, vigorates um, our debates in this council. His motion can be separated into two parts. One is to examine and appropriately amend the PHO. Now, the FDU does not um, opposed to that. As we say, uh, the employees, um, the, uh, the labor's uh, legislation have been in place uh, for many years, and, and we support examining it. Now, the second part of the motion is to explore reclaiming Guntong Taipun Shelter for increasing land supply and um, improving transport. Now, like uh, Mr. Michael Luke said, 
I back to differ. There are several reasons. As we all know, the Kai Duck Reclamation Project mentioned by Mr. Forge uh, comes from the Kowloon East solution. It has been debated in the community 10 years ago. The conclusion was that the public thought we should keep Kai Duck as it was and the solution was not taken on board. Now, he is floating this idea again, but it will take a long time to proceed to amend the PHO, and there will be a lot of debate about a reclamation. It is very time consuming. Now, in the Kowloon East solution, it was mentioned that by reclaiming the uh, shelter, 85 hectares of land can be provided. It is very tempting. The solution was not taken on board, so there is a new Kaida development plan in place, which has been commenced. If we revisit the idea of reclamation again, it will only serve to disrupt the Kaida development plan. 85 hectares of land indeed is very large. However, um, it is um, a large scale standalone program. It is like adding extra loading on an area which is already highly developed. Now, we have already done the planning for Kai Duck. If further housing units are added to the area, it will only increase the loading to the area. And also, there will be heat island effects. Um, blocking the wind corridor to the hinterland. And also it will disrupt the view of the public to our, um, to our rich lines. So actually, we think Land Tower Tomorrow Vision is a project with um, a more macro vision. The PHO's intention is very clear. Victoria Harbour is our shared public asset, which is accessible, accessible to everyone. However, PHO is too rigid. According to the original um, PHO, no reclamation at all can be done. In the end, it was amended, like the Secretary said. However, those examples um, were not very successful. For example, the uh, the Island East uh, Boardwalk project, um, it took a great deal um, to make it happen. We have been talking about developing the waterfront in North Point for ten for more than ten years. During my some um, ten ten years of tenure, I appreciate that it is very difficult to make these projects happen. When we talk about developing the Eastern Island Corridor uh, boardwalk, the Development Bureau refused to come to the District Council to discuss the plan with us. We have asked them for many times, and then they only sent us some junior um, officers. I was the um, chairman of the um, Harbour Friends Committee in the District Council, I ask um, how we can deal with the legal challenges brought about by the PHO. No one could answer me. They would only start studying it when there were indeed uh, judicial reviews. So we can, we don't know um, the extension or the um, coverage, the scope of this ordinance. Well, if you take a bird eye view and look at the um, the island eastern corridor, you cannot see the boardwalk, so you can do anything beneath the boardwalk. However, according to the PHO, it seems that um, that is not allowed as well. So there was no answer from the administration. A three-year-long 
public consultation was carried out. There were three phases of public consultation since 2012. At the beginning, the proposal was only five meter wide. We were worried that we would be in breach of the PHO, so we um, proposed a narrower broadwalk. In the end, there were calls uh, for more facilities like bicycle tracks and other um, areas uh, for activities. So in the end, the width uh, was increased to 10 meters. However, it will only be complete by 2024. And there are even more challenges ahead. For residents in the neighborhood, um, they support having a boardwalk um, underneath them. Well, tomorrow I will, I will be meeting with the owners' corporation of the building. Um, they, the residents are worried uh, that um, it would bring about um, security issue if the boardwalk passed their building. So I, time is up, Mr. Kok Wei Kang. Thank you. Does any other member wish to speak, uh, Mr. Abraham Shek? Thank you, Chairman. Thank you, Paul Chair, for proposing this motion. Such a let's call the council can sincerely support the government. We're supporting the government, but not as a rubber stamp, as a pro government camp, we should not challenge protecting the harbor ordinance, but why are we here to challenge the ordinance? That's why I thanked Paul Chair, because after 20 plus years before, this was proposed before 97 and passed. We weren't able to discuss this in the council because the opposition could not give us such an open discussion opportunity. If we objected, they would object. But today, we now have a formal reason to discuss the ordinance. It can be amended. Any legislation can be amended if it is aligned with the public interest. If you examine it from a historic perspective, this legislation, uh, its historic mission has been completed. It has, doesn't mean that it cannot be amended because it is, under the auspicious of the basic law. So as Mr. Junior Ho said, it is not necessary to conduct this work, uh, but we can do it. Uh, he gave us the example of a golf course. Where do we need a greenscape? Where do we need to preserve history? Where do we need to conserve the environment? Where do we, it's necessary. It's not necessary, but we did it here. We're talking about reclamation. Mr. Paltier said from an environmental perspective, we should examine this ordinance. From Queens Road Central, it, uh, it has been reclaimed. A lot of places are reclaimed from the sea, but we have stopped reclaiming land for a while now. And the government suggested reclaiming 133 hectares in Kaitak, but it was challenged in courts, and therefore they shelved the project. Now, well, Mr. Paul Chair's motion involves two issues, conserving the harbor and he, he also raised the issue of Kuntong Typhoon Shelter. Mr. Frankie Yik has also has responded to that. 
What are the advantages to Hong Kong? What is the advantage to the public? That is, they will be given more land. The land can be reclaimed at a lower cost. I support the length out tomorrow, but that is for the future. We're talking about the present shortage, and that is something we need to consider. Aside from considering the issue, we, in fact, we should and we should increase the land, the plot use ratio in Kowloon. We have an extra. 200,000 people in the housing queue, a lot of people are living in subdivided units. A lot of people don't have ideal living conditions. So all this work is necessary. The government cannot just conduct studies. But what are the, what is the result of these studies? They conduct further studies. So how many years are we going to waste on studies? Just Article 23. It, so we've conducted study after study, the, the appropriate moment was never identified. So, as Mr. Paul said, said so the central government cannot allow you to study after conduct study after study. So I hope uh, the secretary can give us a, a response. When will he f conclude his studies? Now I need to declare interest. I might, my companies might have purchased land in that area, and might be developing the area. So, but a real estate developer purchasing land and developing, uh, they don't have any guarantees that there won't be obstacles in their work. There is no absolute protection, so this is something that we should, we can consider. The government can undertake studies. I'm also a member of the golf course. They need to. The government needs to build more public housing in the urban area. Uh, thank you, Chairman. Ms. Alice Mack. Regarding Paul Chair's motion, we've considered it for a long period. Uh, this motion has been proposed for a long time, but because of uh, uh, council meetings being uh, suspended, uh, but uh, we've now heard colleagues' speeches, so we decide uh, to object to this motion. There are two reasons. We support reviewing the PHO. The PHO is quite absurd. It uh, hinders development. For example, in Qingyi, in northeast Qingyi, we have uh, shipyards. They have to repair vessels, they have to build a bridge in order to board the vessel. So they have to stick a bamboo rod into the seabed and that is in breach of the PHO. That is absurd. The PHO should be reviewed. And whether we can pass this motion or not, the government should not ignore the PHO. Uh, you should. The government should examine the impact of this of PHO on the building of our roads, our housing, and so on. But reviewing PHO, uh, it's not. We're not just relying on a private member's bill. Yesterday we had a private member's bill of Waterworks bill. It's not a rare opportunity. 
a rare private member bill, so we cannot review it. We have to review it. So the secretary needs to promise us. So I don't know whether the secretary has a chance to speak. Uh, so I hope it's been too long. Uh, it's too long uh, since we had a, a debate. So in the secretary's speech, you need to answer whether the government is determined to review this piece of legislation that is affecting our development. I believe colleagues will are willing to cooperate. Another reason why we object, uh, in fact, I support land reclamation. The FTU wants to solve the housing problem. We need to increase land supply. If we don't increase land supply, we will have subdivided units. We have a long queue for public housing. But why will we object to this motion? It's because it's not because of the wording, but colleagues, including Paul Chair, they said, we cannot agree with this. It's not about uh, uh, affecting the environment and so on. It is one consideration, but not the major consideration. If we reclaim the Kuntong Typhoon Shelter, it cannot replace Langtao tomorrow. FTU supports the government stepping up the Langtao Tomorrow project. I believe Secretary will also have to bring forward the preliminary uh, design study of Langtao uh, Tomorrow. We need to look into the artificial island. We heard just now why can't we resume land in the golf course? Why can't we use the adjacent areas of country parks. If we still, if we're still held back by interest groups or other constraints, if we can't increase land supply through land reclamation to resolve housing, then they are, then the government will be. Um, not living up will not be living up to the public's expectations we cannot dilly dally we have to push ahead we feel that Kuntong Typhoon Shelter cannot replace Langtao tomorrow and a lot of colleagues uh, said that uh, after land reclamation do you really think they'll build residential buildings is they might build luxury houses, luxury units. So uh, recently people have said that there are not, there's not enough commercial land in Kai Tak. So if we have a few more commercial sites, then we can develop a hub. So ultimately this land reclamation will benefit another interest group or will it be uh, set aside for for housing for public housing i believe this the land reclamation in kuntong typhoon shelter what is the ultimate purpose so chairman the ftu even though we object to this motion i hope the secretary can respond Will he review the PHO and remove development constraints, create more land supply? Will you step up the, the study of Langtao tomorrow? Uh, in fact, why don't you skip the studies? Let's start, let's commence works. Let's increase land supply and housing supply. Any other member wish to speak? If not, Mr. Paul Tay, you may now speak on the amendment. You, your time limit is five minutes. The I cannot respond too much to colleagues' speech here, but it sounds like the logic. Uh, it 
I, I will not uh, waste time on uh, logical arguments. Uh, I have to thank Mr. Junius Ho for clarifying the wording of the motion, but I'm very disappointed that our party, large party, uh, the large political party re representative, they did, they did not inspect the wording of the motion very carefully, but still objected. Uh, perhaps their understanding or debate skills are limited. Well, I'm not going to delve on that. But it's very uh, disappointing that we have this opportune uh, motion that is not considered thoroughly. We've heard uh, not replacing Langtao tomorrow. Oh, it's just a study. Uh, these vague uh, co issues that are uh, are not even supported by our large political parties. So the government is not doing anything, and even their trustworthy allies are not helping their cause. So coming back to the amendment, I support the amendment because we. I had been saying that individuals and individual interests override the Hong Kong public's housing needs. That is the crux of the issue and why the central government had issued a clear message. We're not reforming election for the sake of reform. We are trying to tackle the housing problem. If if you're just talking about class struggle and so on and object to discussion, that is uh, uh, that you're you are not living up to the central government's expectations. Uh, so we only have three hundred ves three hundred fifty vessels that use the typhoon shelter and we allow criminal elements uh, hijack the port. So what is totally advantageous, or that has no drawback? There are sacrifices. So when you balance the two, there's no, there's no room for argument. But uh, it's unfortunate that some industries' interests are overriding, and it's uh, ir irrational. I'm also dissatisfied with the government. It's not a fisherman typhoon shelter. It is the government's in-action shelter. So have you made any review based on the court ruling? We don't want to make arbitrary amendments to the basic law. It is this PHO is very simple. We can limit it to the core of the Victoria Harbor. We can just amend it to reasonable uh, requirements. The, the, the CFA say that uh, nothing can be done, but you are objecting to everything. The, the secretary has no planning, continue to hide behind the telephone shelter. The government has done so for a long time. Whether it is Article 23 of the Basic Law or Housing Policy, the inactive government needs to be overturned. We're not amending the typhoon shelter, we're just considering, investigating. So the large parties examine the wording carefully, you are the obstacle to development in Hong Kong. Secretary for Development. Madam Deputy, I'm grateful to members for their valuable views. I'd like to um, respond to some main points mentioned by members. Members are concerned about the supply of birthing spaces at typhoon shelters. According to Marine Department's assessment in 2017, from now to 2030, 
uh, we have to preserve all the birthing spaces in Hong Kong in order to cater for the needs of local stage uh, vessels. Now, if according to the motion, we release uh, land at KTTS for development, we'll reduce the supply of birthing spaces so that by 2050, we will have a shortage of supply of birthing spaces at Typhoon Shelters. We understand that if we are to reclaim land at KTTS, we must do as suggested by Mr. Frankie Yick. We must identify another site to provide sufficient birthing spaces to ensure we have enough supply in our local waters for uh, vessels to birth at typhoons and uh, inclement weather. And we should take care of the needs of stakeholders and we should uh, comply with um, various conditions and uh, coordinate with the nearby places. The uh, Bureau is of the view that it is um, possible to find suitable alternative location to replace the KT TS. As for land supply, the government is of the view that we have a more appropriate multi-pronged approach for stable and long-term supply of land. In early 2019, the government announced that all recommendations by the task force for land supply accepted. We are present ahead of full steam, and we are now intensifying our land formation measures and increase the supply of land. This includes rezoning of individual plots, uh, the um, implementation of new development areas, development of brownfield sites, and uh, land resumption and farmland by reclamation. In the community, there are various controversial issues. So, members, we are not trying to dodge difficult issues, but uh, there must uh, be rational assessment and also uh, rational choices, and we should consider the pros and cons of various measures. So, we have a multi pronged approach for land formation, and there's been sufficient or uh, plenty of um, elaboration on other occasions. Ms. Alice Mack mentioned studies by the government, whether we can expedite them. In fact, uh, this is our direction for the study involving Kai Yi Chao is expected to take 42 months. In an earlier debate in this council, I said that it was a highly um, compacted timetable and there is um, a little room for further uh, compression. But then we have also got um, new development areas in NT involving 1,400 hectares and uh, among them 800 hectares might be suitable for development. At first, uh, we uh, wanted to do it at a later stage under 2030 plus, but because of requests by members, we have greatly advanced the timetable. We hope that come next month for NT West or because it involves uh, different stages of study. For the three NTAs in NT, uh, we hope that next uh, month we can go to the development panel and then we have to go through the funding application procedures. Uh, we hope that members who um eager for more land supply can support government's initiatives. Now, in the short and medium term, we are now rezoning lands and appropriately increase uh, development intensity. Now, to uh, cater for ever-changing society needs, in 2015, now for 25 sites in the um, uh, in the urban areas, we have applied for town planning board's approval to relax the development intensity. In 2016 and 2018, seven plots in Kaita development area have been rezoned for public housing. In the whole uh, Kaita development area, 15,000 units can be provided, half of which will be public housing. is an important source of Housing supply in the short and medium term, we are considering whether the KTDA's uh, five commercial zones can be rezoned for residential use. Uh, KITAC has gone through more than 25 years of planning and uh, it's now being implemented and some of uh, the uh, planning um, items are being materialized. Uh, we 
will very proactively carry out the infrastructure works and sell land for residential developments as appropriately. If we are off to have major review of the Kaita DA now and uh, replan the so the land use and increasing uh, what is proposed increasing what's proposed in the motion debate, I'm afraid we will delay the overall development and uh, timetable for housing supply in Kaita. Member said that we must improve the transport infrastructure for the cruise terminal. Now, in fact, the traffic infrastructure uh, for the cruise terminal has greatly improved. The CNED has completed uh, the land, uh, the road work, the road network connecting Kowloon Bay and also uh, Kai Tag, and there we now have a dual carriageway there. And uh, there is also the Metro Park, and works have started for completion in 2022 by and large. Then uh, there will be direct access to the uh, runway, uh, tip of the runway, and also the Shatin. And a Kitech station will also be completed. And T2 Road is um, in progress in 2026. We will have a major trunk road linking up Central Kowloon and uh, also Kaitak, and that will greatly improve access to and from Kaitak. And we've also got a multimodal environmental friendly linkage system with various modes of green transport. For um, There will be a, a multimodal uh, operation, and this will greatly enhance the connectivity of the area with uh, surrounding areas, and this area will be a green node. As for amendment to the protection of the harbour ordinance, as I said, uh, the ordinance did, do not does not say no definitely for any uh, reclamation. When there is overriding public need established, then reclamation can proceed. The government has carried out necessary works and also works to improve our waterfront. We have tried our very best to ensure that works can comply with the requirements of the ordinance. Mr. K.K. Kwok, uh, Mr. Kwok White Kern, I mentioned the boardwalk under uh, Island Eastern Corridor. After much effort, we believe we have got cogent and convincing argument that the work is necessary, and then later this year we'll come to the council to secure members' support. So considering all the factors I've mentioned, at this stage the government has no intention to reclaim land at KTTS or amend the protection of the harbour ordinance. While views may differ, I'm still very grateful to Mr. Portes' motion and also Mr. Frankie Yick's amendment and also speeches by members so that we can have an opportunity to change, exchange views on this and so that um, uh, the community can have a better understanding of the issues involved. Thank you. I now call upon Mr. Frankie Yick to move an amendment. Madam Deputy, I move my amendment. I propose the question to you. That Mr. Frankie Yick's amendments be passed. Those against, uh, those in favour, please raise their hands. Um, Mr. Gary Chen requested a uh, division, claims a division. The quorum bell will be rung for five minutes.
。林建峰議員 ，Mr. Jeffrey Lam， I would like to declare that the company of which I am a director、uh, may relate. May be related to、uh, some items today. Mr. Abraham Shack,、uh, maybe my company、um, has bid a site in Kaidak. I'm not sure. Ye Ziming Yi Yuan. Mr. Frankie Ye, I also declare that. My company also has some、uh, dealings with the sites there, Mr. Jimmy Wu. I also declare that the company that I'm serving as a director owns a site there. 议员需自行判断。Members should make their own judgments whether they have direct or indirect interest with the items. Voting begins. Please check your votes. Voting closed. Please show the results. For those members returned by functional constituencies, 21 presents, 13 for, 5 against, 2 abstentions. Members returned by geographical constituencies, 16 presents, 4 for, 11 against, 1 abstention. The Question is not agreed by majority of each of the two groups of members present. I declare the amendment negative. Mr. Paul Jay has used up all the time to reply, so we will move on to votes on the original motion moved by Mr. Paul Jay. I now put the question to you that Mr. Paul Jay's motion be passed. With those in favour, please raise their hands. Mr. Ronnie Chen claims a division. The division bell will run for five minutes. 
開始表決。Voting begins. Please check your votes. Voting is closed. Please show the result. For members returned by functional constituencies, 21 present, 8 for, 8 against, 4 abstention. Members returned by geographical constituencies, 16 present, 4 for, 11 against, 1 abstention. I declare the motion is not agreed by a majority of each of the two groups of members present. I declare the motion negatized. Debates on motion with no legislative